Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have another rumor to go over which talks about everything we're going to be getting for next year's 25th anniversary for Pokemon. Now of course these are just rumors at the end of the day so as always take them with a grain of salt. We do not know if they are true or false but always very fun to go over regardless. If you are excited for today's video though drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment what would you love to see next year and subscribe if you are brand new do daily Pokemon content and live streams on this year's channel. With all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off this was posted 10 days ago and is titled The Future of Mainline Pokemon 2020 slash 2021. Well we're already at the end of 2020. We're on the bloody 17th of December today. So uh, we get in some Pokemon news very soon. Like, what's 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 happening, mate? What's happening, Meg uh, Meg Megumi Leaks? What's going on? It says hello there. I'm making this post from a fresh account, simply to dip and dash with this information. I don't work at Game Freak, however, a friend of mine has been able to slowly send me small tidbits of information whilst the teams are finalizing slash continuing to work on the development of Pokemon games within the next year. So we got some inside dude on the job just hacking away at his keyboard, just sliding some emails, which they could probably check, to be fair, they could probably see what's going in and out of the office. I'm sure they have some sort of like check for that to stop these things happening, but we'll carry on it then goes on to say uh i can confirm that some of the leaks on here are indeed spreading correct information however what i've noticed is a lot is either getting lost in translation or simply expanded further upon to create more speculation so we have the final 2020 presentation this is going to be interesting because like i said it's the 17th today and so where is this new information it says our first set of information will come nearer to christmas slash boxing day in a pre-recorded presentation by president ishihara so christmas eight days away boxing day nine days away they're not going to release a presentation on christmas day um maybe box I, th I don't think boxing day is a thing anywhere else i think that's just a uk thing um so this person is clearly from the uk if they're referencing boxing day um I'm, i mean they wouldn't do on christmas eve either so i guess that'd be like around the 22nd 23rd they drop it if it was true uh and then says this should be announced a day or two prior oh okay so a day or two prior to christmas slash boxing day um set to serve as a gift to the community in preparation for the 25th anniversary coming next year my source did not specify the inner details of the small presentation except for the process with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and hype for Pokemon Day. At the end of the presentation, the camera moves to the side of Ishihara to uh, show plushies of Ho-Oh and Lugia. Okay, so interesting. Now, it's going to be mad if we get some sort of like Pokemon presentation at the end of the year. Um, I'm not saying it couldn't happen because I don't know what's going to happen. But obviously they did just drop that new advertisement for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which was completely out of the blue. Um, so maybe it could be preparing for this. It says Pokemon Let's Go Gold and Silver are officially announced um, in this, obviously, in this trailer uh, with small gameplay clips bearing extreme similarities to the previous Let's Go game. Unlike the previous games, these are more so similar to mainline gold and silver in that you choose a Johto starter from the get-go instead of having one specific Pokemon as your partner. The release date is set for spring 2021. So that's not the main game coming out next year. It's just kind of like a, an extra game that they would be giving us. I don't know, because Let's Go kind of is a main series game. So to get one of those in spring and then I'm guessing it goes on to say Down and Pearl remakes in November would be kind of mad. Um, but yeah, like I say, I mean, we don't have to wait long to see if this is true or not. But uh, obviously, like I say, we did get that Let's Go presentation, kind of, not presentation, but the new advertisement thing uh, not too long ago. So it could be just, you know, preparing for this. It says 2021 mainline. To cut to the chase, the gift of Pokemon Day and the 25th anniversary is that of Diamond and Pearl remakes. As for the official names, my source was unable to provide them. Very interesting that they could not provide them it's just like if if this source knew down and pearl remakes were on their way they would know the names of them surely because that's probably going to be one of the first things they think about however fourth generation remakes are indeed coming here's the main information that i know so far 
The graphics are the best the series has seen so far, comparable to Sword and Shield. In a lot of locations, the camera is indeed locked. However, in important locations such as Mount Coronet and various towns and cities, the areas are heavily expanded and able to function with camera controls. There is no wild area that simply isn't returning in any concept. However, Pokemon will still roam the overworld. The battles uh, function similar to fights within Let's Go, as you'll need to lower the health of the Pokemon down to zero before transitioning to the Let's Go catching sequence. Oh, okay, that, that's a cool idea to be fair. I, I, I actually wouldn't mind that. Uh, we don't know if like the next game is going to be like a hybrid of Let's Go or anything like that. We don't know. But I think that would be really cool. Like, So you battle it normally um, with, uh, obviously, your Pokemon. You get the health down to, well, not down to zero. I don't know if this person's ever played a Pokemon game, game before. But if it goes down to zero, you can't really catch it. Uh, but yeah, obviously, you get it down to red health. And then it would, and then you maybe like be able to click catch. And then it goes into the Let's Go catching. We actually have to throw, throw the ball or something maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this person hasn't played Pokemon before. Uh, <laughs> um, but it says this was apparently made to give a more realistic feel to the series as well as to combine what made both mainline and let's go accessible to all kinds of players the only returning features in battle are that of mega evolutions and dynamax z moves don't return in any capacity and according to my source z moves will never return to the mainline series well we know that z moves are unique to alola so they wouldn't ever come back in the main series unless we got an alola remake uh, Dynamax will only be accessible within the post game and it also requires a connection to a sword or shield game unlocking a new quest in which Cynthia serves as the main focus to unlocking it. Leon also makes a surprise appearance to battle the protagonist in this post game. The only mega evolutions I am aware of are ones for each Sinnoh starter being Torterra, Infernape and Empoleon. Most likely they'll have a few more. The names I've heard rumored are Floatzel, Electivire and Roserade. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a number of Generation 4 Pokemon that would easily suit a new Mega Evolution. Those three as well being, obviously, Floatzel, Electivire, Roserade, Magmortar, um, Gliscor, you could do Weavile, obviously you could do Luxray, Staraptor. Um, there are a bunch of Generation 4 Pokemon that would definitely benefit a Mega Evolution. Uh, the second rival in Lucas and Dawn play a much more important role and actually serve as a second rival comparable to Barry. In an odd change, my source noticed, Barry actually takes the starter weak to yours, whilst Lucas and Dawn take the starter strong against yours. I completely just forgot about it. I, I just read over that like it was new, like nothing new. But So basically, don't play as Lucas or Dawn in these games then. So it's not a remake, it's a, like a remaster, like Let's Go was, where you don't like... Because obviously you don't play as Red in Let's Go, it's not a remake, it's a remaster, because the story's a little bit different. Um, so it then goes on to say, Triple Battles make a return, however. They're mainly demonstrated within a specific sequence of the Distortion World where you, Lucas, Dawn, and Barry run through a multitude of galactic grunts in order to get to Cyrus. Wait, they're, they're mainly demonstrated within a specific sequence of the Distortion World. Why would they randomly just have it in that bit? They, I don't know. I feel like triple battles would have to be like throughout the game at various points. Um, it then says, speaking of the Distortion World, the story is heavily changed, resembling both games, but bearing mostly to Platinum. Yeah, this isn't a remake then, this is a remaster. Like, if the story is completely different, then obviously it's a remaster. In either version, you will catch your game-exclusive legend prior to the Distortion World, where Cyrus will take control of Giratina and battle you with a full team that includes Giratina. After this fight, Giratina flees and can be fought in the post-game. How does it flee? Like, if he's caught him, then it's his Pokemon. He'll only flee if he releases it. Don't get your hopes up on too many regional forms or any new forms in general. Uh, these are remakes for a reason. <sighs> Remasters, really. Not to be that guy, but, you know, if the story's going to completely change, then they're not really remakes. Uh, the game will be fully compatible with Sword and Shield. An update will be uh, released for the latter games during the release of these remakes, making all Pokemon crossover and transferable in the process. That is all. Take this as you wish. Uh, let's see Let's see what the comments say. I like to see what the comments say. How smart that you didn't include the names of the remakes. That is something that I also spoke about. As most leaks are found to be fake because they used ridiculous names for the remake, you avoided the mistake with intelligence. Obviously, the only reason it was not stated is that you don't actually know the titles or even any real news. I doubt this is real, but it was a fun read. Um, yeah, I mean, the only thing that I can kind of get behind is this whole Let's Go thing. Like, I don't think we're going to get any kind of presentation 
um, at the end of this year in like what six days or whatever. I just can't see that happening. Um, but it would make sense with the fact that they just obviously sent out the advertisement for Let's Go. Maybe it is just to kind of like promote the new one a little bit as well. I don't know, like to get people to remember about Let's Go. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just it's too soon, man. I mean, I Crown Tundra came out in October. It's been a couple months. A bit of a couple of months already. That's kind of mad how quick that, how long, uh, like how quick that's been. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it, I don't, I, don't, I can't see us seeing anything until February, really. I think they're just going to do a massive, massive presentation in February, just like revealing everything that we're going to be getting next year. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is real. We'll have to wait until, like I said, we don't have to wait long anyway. Um, but that is going to be everything for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do drop a like down below. It really does help out. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. What do you think about this? Do you think we're going to get some random presentation at the end of the year? Or is it just complete BS? And then, of course, subscribe if you're brand new. We do go live with Pokemon content every single day on this channel. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.